So we're going to do another quick walk around of the Golf GTI, but this time I'm going to take it for a drive. Didn't take it for a drive the last time. It was uh, the Moonstone grey colour. This is a white one. This is in Jerry Comiskey in Sandyford. So Jerry Comiskey, Dublin.ie. Fabulous car. Now the difference between this and the Moonstone grey, apart from the obvious, the colour, is the wheels. This is on the 18 inch rims. Have to say I would prefer uh, the larger rim on the car. Nonetheless, it's a fantastic looking car, um, particularly uh, the red at the front, the day running lights. The black grille just looks uh, super at the front there in the white. As I said, it's like almost looking at a completely different car than the Moonstone Grey. I met one on the road last week with this grille on it. It was a GTI and I just thought it looked uh, awesome. 18 inch wheels, possibly a better option for someone that is doing a, a country commute or is driving uh, sort of worse roads but if you're around Dublin around the city doing motorway driving the larger wheels are not going to be an issue really looking forward to driving this this uh, car is priced um, I'll stick it up on the screen there but the other option is do you go for the GTD which is the diesel which is just over 200 brake this is 240 brake um, or do you wait for the Golf 4? Um, I have yet to see one in the south of Ireland. I know there's a few videos online of the Golf 4 in the UK. None such have arrived in Southern Ireland yet, but they're looking at being about 20,000 dearer than the GTI. So the big question is going to be when we do get our hands on a Golf 4 this year in Jerry Comiskey Volkswagen, I'm going to take this for a drive, give you the tour before this car. Lovely uh, cloth seats with the traditional Tartan GTI, your 12 volt charger, you have your USB C, two of them. Lovely, love this um, gear knob. There's a lovely feel off it when you do engage the gear, engine start, stop, real slick. Um, the display is excellent. I have currently have the Tiguan, and I would say that the only thing I dislike in the and it's the same in this is this panel here this touch panel um i find it it's very uh, finicky just to get between uh, the different settings in it so let's see what this gti drives like particularly i haven't drove much petrol cars in the last uh, few years so it's nice to get into a hot hatch again the big question for people watching this video will be can they justify the extra 20,000 for the Golf 4? I'm not sure. Let's see, this 240 brake, it's in the white. Um, again, very minimum here, but it's lovely. The cockpit's lovely, the seating position's lovely. Um, everything is just lovely, the visibility. Um, so let's see what it drives like. nice and solid in this car as I'm driving it just down in Sandyford here in the industrial area um, I'm going to drive up um, in the direction of the M50 so I'll be able to um, obey the speed limits of course and uh, see see what this car is like on the uh, open road hopefully the smooth gear change just nice I'm going around the industrial area here it's really really nice Lovely purr of this car as I'm driving here. Sticking within the speed limit, I'm behind, the, I'm in a line of cars here, but it just drives so nice. Love to have this car for a few weeks. I might talk to Brendan and see about getting the GTI uh, after the Tig One, just to see what I think of it and give it a long test drive and give people some feedback on what it's like fuel economy wise, what it's like if you have a few kids, uh, luggage, space what's it like as a normal everyday driver. So I'll be looking forward to that. I'm gonna to have to hop the ball with Brendan uh, in Jerry Comiskey and see can he work something for me there. And I'll come back with uh, as, much, as much feedback as I can. Loads of power there when you accelerate. It just feeds the gear so, so smooth. Um, it's really discreet. It's not like you're tearing up the road. It's something that stands out for all intents and purposes. To most people, it looks like a normal Golf. That could be a 1.6 diesel. But those who know, know. There is some features of the new Volkswagens, I would say including the Tiguan, 
that's I, I'm gonna to have to turn off the lane assist in the Tiguan I don't like it um, it's just certain features I, I just find that particularly on country roads are you're better off without them they're more designed for autobahns in Germany um, it's almost like the engineers are trying to overcomplicate uh, driving whereas I think at the end of the day we've all passed our driving tests we're all able to drive so I think a lot of these safety features are maybe for people on long autobahn journeys and probably quite annoying um, for country driving. I do particularly find the lane assist really, really annoying. And the warnings coming up here, foot, foot off the accelerator. Again, the warnings are just... Car, this exact car is available on jerrycomiskeydublin.ie. So if I don't get it first, you can call up and get it. There's just 4,000 kilometers on the clock, as new. Of course, 211 Reg. But if you were in the market for a GTI, definitely a lovely machine. That's it. Hope you enjoyed uh, my video. Um, just a quick drive in the Golf GTI. Hit subscribe if you're enjoying this. We are planning on creating a lot of content, head-to-head -head racing with the Tiguan R, with the Tourag that they have in stock, with the Polo R5. So if you want to be kept alert um, to our upcoming videos, hit subscribe.